Hi, I'm Dr. Santosh Arup Singh Jacob. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a sports injury specialist from the beautiful city of Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon and I'm also certified by the American board to practice regenerative orthopedics. Here at Bewell, we do a lot of orthopedic surgeries and arthroscopic surgeries and sports injury management. We also also combine stem cell techniques that is stem cells are cells which are there in your body which heal your diseases. We take them, concentrate them and combine them with conventional orthopedic surgery so that you have accelerated faster results and an earlier return to work. Stem cells are cells which all of us have, you, me, everybody around us. These cells are there to heal if anything injures your equilibrium. Now as you grow older, your healing reserves reduce and you need help. So we harvest these stem cells from your bone marrow, from your adipose, commonly called as fat and from your blood and we concentrate them inside the operation theatre and in a sterile manner use them in your diseased organs in order to heal your problems faster. We can treat a whole, whole lot of diseases with stem cells. After we extract stem cells from your fat and from your bone marrow, we target them to certain joints or soft tissues which need help. So it can be a knee joint with arthritis or a spine with a disc issue and it can also be a fracture you had five years ago which is not healing. Apart from this, sports injuries, partial tears, muscle strains, all of them we can accelerate your healing using stem cells from your own body. Misconceptions about stem cells are many. To name a few, they think stem cells can be factory produced. Stem cells are present in, in your placenta and in your amniotic fluid. There are a lot of creams which say stem cell integrated. And finally, I just read recently that stem cells apparently can be produced, taken to a doctor's office and in 15 minutes thawed so that you have active stem cells. This I think is the greatest misconception. Even if there are any stem cells in that frozen product, when you thaw them fast, all of them will die. Now, evidence. Yeah. Stem cells have not been found in the placenta or in the amniotic fluid or in those fast thaw, fast freeze products. It has been proved beyond a doubt. Now, coming to the positives, where do you actually have stem cells? Stem cells are there in every region of our body, but it can be harvested easily from three regions. One is the bone marrow. Your bone marrow is one of the greatest concentration of stem cells because that is where your red blood cells or blood comes from. Then is your fat cells. Fat cells have a huge concentration of adipocyte based mesenchymal cells. Bone marrow has bone based mesenchymal cells. Now to combine these two we often use PRP or platelet rich plasma which unifies the benefits of stem cells from the bone marrow and fat and we are able to create a system through which we can infuse it into the necessary affected region. Stem cells are of many types. Stem cells can be harvested from when you are as small as an embryo. They are called embryonic stem cells. Then they can be harvested from fetal blood. Those are fetal stem cells. Then from cord blood, those are called cord-based stem cells. But what I specialize in is adult stem cells where we harvest stem cells or mesenchymal cells or 
Now, recently it has been advised that they be called medicinal signaling cells because what they basically do is they differentiate into five parts of the body which we use to move basically into tendons, ligaments, muscle, cartilage and bone. Apart from this, they can also form skin and they also reduce inflammation. In general, as an adult, if any stem cells are harvested from you, the possibility of the mesenchymal cells from your bone marrow or from your fat or from your blood changing into any type of a cancer or any, any tumor is impossible. It has been proved beyond evidence that it is impossible when it comes to adult stem cells. Now, embryonic stem cells have been shown to occasionally produce cancer-like symptoms in rats. But we don't use any embryonic stem cells for our orthopedic treatments. What I like about stem cell research and the applications of stem cells is that one, it is completely natural, there is no possibility of rejection, it is also bactericidal which means it reduces the actual incidence of infection. Apart from this, stem cells can also be used technically in conjunction with conventional orthopedic surgery because in orthopedic surgery we change the pathology in the bone but in order to access the bone we cut skin, fat, soft tissue, muscle and everything around the bone. So we violate the, bone, the soft tissue to treat the bone. We can use the stem cells harvested from you in order to help the soft tissues recover faster so that you're able to go back to function faster. And what's really exciting are all the future prospects. Stem cells for treatment of diabetes, especially type 1, to treat kids who have diabetes. If you're able to achieve that, nothing like it. Apart from that, reversal of aging, reversal of arthritis, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis in 15 year olds. Stem cells have a wide range of application. They just have to be understood and used by trained personnel.